welcome to this quick tutorial on how to apply a, an API level global rate limit in Tyke. So to start, what we're going to do is I've created a few APIs. We're going to use API test to do this. Click API test and simply all I'm going to do is come down, down to rate limiting and quotas and what I'll do is I will put a rate of five per 60 seconds. And this means that whatever the time window that these requests are sent in, they're able to send five requests per 60 seconds. Now what I'll do is I will click update. And also what I'll do here quickly is change the authentication mode from authentication token to open keyless, uh, just so that we don't have to supply any type of credential to use it. And we'll click update API. Now, if you already have an authentication mode in, you can totally leave that. I'm just doing this for, for brevity's sake. Now, I'm gonna come over to Postman and I'm gonna come to API test, which I already have. So I'm running this locally. So my gateway is running on localhost 8080 and the endpoint that we're looking to hit is slash API test. Now, what we do have is this rate limit of five per 60 seconds. So as soon as I send a sixth request within any 60 second interval, that is then going to throw an error. Now let's try that out and see how it works. So we'll do send, we get a response, two, three, four, five, and now this sixth one should cause an error for us. And now you'll see API rate limit exceeded. Now, what's great about this API level global rate limit is that it really helps in terms of uh, overwhelming traffic coming in, M malicious or maybe even just an error within the code that's causing client calls to happen much too frequently. So for this here, what you're going to want to remember is that this is applied at the API level. So any request coming through that exceeds this rate limit is going to cause this error. So if you have three different callers, uh, maybe you have client A, B, and C, if client C uses up this rate limit, then client A and B will also get the same API rate limit exceeded since it's all put into one total. And with that, now you know the basics of creating an API level global rate limit in Tyke.